Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for coming online. This is week seven of the MCO. For many of us today, we have underestimated the impact of this invisible virus upon our daily lives, upon our church, upon our country, and upon the world. And we are often challenged during this MCO, both physically at home or emotionally, in our hearts or mentally in our minds as we grapple with these challenges in the days that we are at home and thinking about how it would be like in the days ahead. In our quietness, we reflect on many issues of life, our relationships with one another, whether it is at home with spouses or with family or in church or at office. We often think about how would it be purposeful in the days ahead when we are able to go back to work? And also, how would the future days look like post-MCO? And words that come to our mind often as we keep quiet, thinking of the days ahead would be words like to restart, to reset, or to recalibrate our lives. And as these thoughts come to us, we often come out with plan A, plan B, Plan C, looking at our circumstances, we plan ahead. The Bible reminds us that the conditions of our hearts is very important in order for us to be ready to restart or reset or to recalibrate our lives on a daily basis. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23 says, Above all else, guard your hearts for everything you do flows from it. As our hearts are guarded and prepared, we begin to make important decisions that are correct if we are guarding our hearts properly. We do not want to go for plan A, plan B, plan C based on fear, anxiety, anger, pain, and discouragement. We want to be able to go back to the Word of God to build a strong base for our hearts to be ready and to have a posture and to have a proper perspective and actually to have a proper perception of where God is in our lives as we prepare for plan A and plan B and plan C. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly. The message of Christ to dwell amongst us richly. Another version says, let the word of Christ richly dwell within you. So we need to deal with the condition of our hearts so that we will be able to move forward in a proper, secured way. We cannot be preparing ourselves if we all the time or we spend very little time in preparing our hearts. You know, the things that keep us occupied during the MCO will be social media, maybe it's the latest news, maybe it is Netflix, maybe board games, maybe exercises, maybe activities. These are good to allow us to spend and, and, and reflect on how to spend our time at home. But this do not prepare our hearts to go forward in the days ahead. And therefore, let me encourage you, my brothers and sisters, during this remaining time of MCO, we need to learn how to guard our hearts. And as we guard our hearts, God by His Holy Spirit will help us to find a way to reset, to restart, and to recalibrate and then we begin to see from his perspective what would be plan A and plan B or plan C. So the message of Christ dwelling richly in our hearts gives us an understanding of what God is in our hearts. God in his message to us talks about his undying love for us. The Bible talks about his unchanging love undying hope, an immovable faith that God 
has placed in our hearts to believe and trust Him in Him for the future. And from our lives, sacrificial worship. And that as we begin to do that, He gives us an undeniable peace. These are the message of Christ that comes to strengthen our hearts as we prepare to start our lives again post-MCO. In the days ahead in the month of May, in our services, we will be dealing with these five important topics. Matthew chapter 7, Jesus talks to us about building our foundations correctly and not to build our foundations on sand, but to anchor our foundations in Christ, the rock. And therefore, we want to deal with these five important topics. The first one is about God's undying hope for us. The second one is about God's unchanging love for us. And the third one is about God's immovable faith in us and in the Lord Jesus Christ. And then there is sacrificial worship and there is undeniable faith as the fifth component of the message of Christ. These are only five areas. There are many more. But when we begin to at least start to build on these five, when the shaking comes in the days ahead, we will be able to stand strong and not be shaken and be destroyed because the house that is standing on not solid ground, not grounded in the solid rock. Decisions that are made post-MCO will be decisions based on our emotions, based on our thinking, based on our reaction, or perhaps based on a sense of pressure upon our lives. But as we begin to step back, in order to step forward, God will anchor our lives solidly on solid ground. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, let us prepare for post-MCO in the proper way and in the right way. There is a better way, which is the way of Christ. Let the message of Christ dwell richly in our hearts. May God bless you as you prepare for post-MCO. Amen.